Good morning, everyone. Welcome back. I did a video yesterday on how to update DLSS to the new version 3.7, which was released by NVIDIA to developers a couple days ago. Overnight, there's been a couple developments that make the process a whole lot easier, so we're going to go through that this morning. And I'm also going to add a couple things that were missing from the video yesterday. Number one, uh, this initial process that I'm going to talk about is for 20 and 30 series RTX cards only. We will talk about RTX 40 cards at the end of the video or towards the end of the video. So I want to make that clear from the outset. The second thing I want to make clear from the outset is that even though this process is quite a bit easier, there is a registry edit involved. And although it's it's done automatically, it's, it's done with a click, um, there are risks to registry edits. Now, this is one that we've used previously for... The frame gen mod, prior to version 0 0.90 of the frame gen mod, we used this exact same registry edit to get that to work. I know it. I trust it. I wouldn't recommend it to you if I thought it was going to cause any problems, but please be aware that there is a registry edit involved and that it could cause problems to your sim. So we're going to go through step-by-step step real quick how to do this, and uh, it's a whole lot easier, so let's get started with that. There are a couple of things that we're going to need. One of them is DLSS tweaks, and the other is the DLSS tweaks version of the frame gen mod. So you come here to Nexus Mods, and I'll put these links in the description. And for the DLSS tweaks, you simply click on Manual Download, and then click on Slow Download, and then it will bring up the, uh, the download window. So just save it to where you want to on your computer. And you do the same thing with the frame gen mod. But what we want here is the DLSS Tweaks Edition. Again, just click on Manual Download, Slow Download, and save it to where you want to on your PC. Once you've downloaded DLSS Tweaks, unzip the folder. And we want to find our Microsoft Flight Simulator install. Um, I will put links in the description to where you can find these. Generally speaking, for store users, you go into your C drive, Xbox games, Microsoft Flight Simulator, content. And to confirm, this is where your flightsimulator.exe file is. That's what you want. Now, the DLSS tweaks uh, edition of this, uh, or the DLSS tweaks program, what we want to do, um, first of all, right-click Enable NVIDIA SIG Override, and then select Merge. Click Yes and Yes, and you're done. Now, we want to take the nvngx.dll file, drag it into your content folder. We want to take the DLSS tweaks config file, drag it in there again, and DLSS tweaks.ini, and dra uh, whoops, drag that in here as well. So now we have DLSS tweaks set up. We want to install the frame gen mod. So go to your folder where you downloaded the DLSS tweaks edition of the frame gen mod, and there's two files in here ending in DLL, and you just want to copy those two files into your content folder. Now we want to update the DLSS tweaks.ini file. Double click on it, it will open in Notepad or Notepad Plus, whichever one you have. Then you want to come down to the section that says DLL Path Overrides. At the the last line in this section at the bottom is the one that we're interested in. Go back into your content folder and you want to find the dlssg underscore dlss tweaks underscore wrapper dot dll file. You want to left click it once to highlight the file, then right click it and come down to copy as path. Select Copy as Path, go back into the 
dlsstweaks.ini file. And in this last line, you want to highlight, starting from C, highlight this entire path. And then you can either paste or use Control V, whichever one you want to use to paste the to paste what you've just copied into that line. Now we want to go to the beginning of that line where the semicolon is and delete the semicolon. And then you save the file and close out. Now we want to edit the DLSS tweaks config.exe file. So double click on that. It's going to ask you to confirm. You open the file and you want to come down to DLSS presets. Now theoretically we should be able to use global forced preset to set them all to E, but I've had difficulty getting that to work. So the simple way to do it is simply go to DLSS presets and select each one and set them to E. Oops. And then you come up here and click save and you're all set. And you can now close this. Now let's go into DLSS Swapper, which now has the version 3.7. And you click on the library and you'll see v3.7 and just click on the download link and it will download the file. Once the file is downloaded, just go into your games list, select Microsoft Flight Simulator, select 3.7, click swap, and you can see we've got version 3.7. So now everything is set up. So let's talk real quick about the presets. Now, as you can see, I use masterful video editing techniques. You see this. Um, there are uh, let's see, one, two, three, four, five, six presets, okay? The new preset is preset E. That's the one we set in DLSS Tweaks. And it's called Eager Donkey. And that's the one that gives us the benefits of the new DLSS version 3.7. You can use the other presets with version 3.7. Most people should see the best visual quality and the best performance with E. However, if you're not getting that, you can go back into the DLSS Tweaks config file. If you're not happy with what you're seeing, and you can change that force global preset to any of the other options. The second best option seems to be C, Charlie. Um, but I would advise you to try preset E first. That's the one that is uh, has been paired with the new 3.7 release. Now, for those of you with 40 series RTX cards, you need the frame generation DLSS file. I'll put the link in the description. You click on download of the 3.7 version, download the file, save it wherever you want to, open the folder where you've saved it, extract the file, and then you want to take that DLSSG file and you want to paste it into your content folder. You just simply drag it, copy and paste, whatever you want to do, confirm that you want it to be overwritten, and you're good. Now, for 40 series cards, you, card users, you would then use DLSS Swapper to update the regular DSS file to version 3.7.0. Again, Come in here into the library. If 
download the file. You would click on this, you know, the, the down arrow would be here. I've already got the file. Click on the download link. The 3.7 file will download. Come back here into your games list. Click on Microsoft Flight Simulator. Click on 3.7 and just click swap and you're good to go. So now for the 40 series users, you've got the frame gen file and the DLSS file, the regular DLSS file. The reason you don't have to go through all that process that we went through for the 20 and 30 series cards is because we needed to do all that to get the frame gen mod to work. You don't need the frame gen mod with a 40 series card. You have native frame gen. So this is all you need to do for a 40 series card to get the regular DLSS file and the DLSS G file for frame generation updated. And now that we have everything set up, let's go into Microsoft Flight Simulator and have a look at what we've got. All right, here we are in the sim, and we just come over here on Options, General Options, and as you can see, we've got Frame Gen set up. Everything is looking good here. One other thing you want to do, go into your Content folder, and there is a file called DLSS tweaks.log. Double click on that and open that file. And what you're going to see here is a list of the DLSS presets that are being used. And all of them that we set to E should show E. That's how you can confirm which one that you're using. So now we know that the DLSS presets that we chose are all being used in the sim. So that's the way to confirm that everything is working properly. So let's go and see what it looks like. All right, here we are in beautiful Les Saints in Guadalupe. And here we are in the mighty Cessna 152. And we've got frame gen running. We have the DLSS version 3.7. This is also one of the bespoke airports that Asobo did in the World Update 16 Caribbean Edition. And as you can see, everything looks absolutely beautiful. So now we are all set. Uh, any questions that you might have, please don't hesitate to put them in the comment section. Hope this video is a lot easier to understand and more comprehensive. I would also like to thank People who have made comments to the previous video that I did yesterday, there were a couple things that, uh, specifically regarding the 40 series RTX graphics cards that I did not include in yesterday's video, and I should have. Um, this kind of popped up out of nowhere, and I wanted to get this to you guys as quickly as I could, but I should also always temper that with making sure that I do a good job and everything is complete. Please understand I do take your feedback very seriously. I don't want to do anything that is going to mislead anybody or going to, you know, God forbid, uh, you know, cause anybody to mess anything up. And uh, so I, I thank you guys for your feedback. I thank you for your patience and tolerance <laughs> for me. Um, I really appreciate the support and I hope this works out very, very well for you. Again, please leave any comments or questions that you have or any success stories that you have in the comment section of the video. I hope this is a this is a, a big win for you guys and I really appreciate everybody watching and I hope you guys have a great day.